Hey guys, welcome back to episode 2 of Chasing the Dream. Appreciate the support and the feedback from episode 1. The mic was a little off, that's my fault. I had it backwards, it's been a while since I used it. I had it faced the wrong way. Even with the windscreen, it muffled it out and created a weird pitch in the background. So hopefully this time it's sorted. I uh, did some testing with that, did some testing with what was causing our frame drop last episode. It was the C70, we've sold it, that's why our money is now at 25, 920. I'm just going to hold off, I think, until we uh, make enough money from work, contracts, and maybe selling some of our crop. And we'll get ourselves a heavy duty truck or something to get set up and ready for a grain, a grain trailer. So we don't have to use the parker. And only carry so much at a time for bushels back and forth from the town. Because we are on the opposite side of the map. So it's a bit of a haul. But yeah, so I'm in an X9 right now. Uh, for this contractor, we're doing, doing canola. Uh, we'll be switching out here and there, back and forth. Doing some hauling as well. I'm trying to think what John Deere they have over there. Not really sure. I was hoping I was going to make it all the way around. Looks like we're going to run out. So we're going to back up here. Uh, not sure if... Now that I think about it. Uh, they told me that the electronics will sing it to him and they'll know if he's paying attention. But the question is, is he paying attention or should I radio him? Probably should radio over. I'll let him know. Uh, let's clear out a little way over here. Give them some room to pull up so they're not all the way out. Even though he probably could just pull in the metal and be fine. But it should work. But yeah. We're uh, getting it done. The sh you know, these two, I should say three jobs should be pretty fair money coming out of these for us. So I think I had it around like 70000 in the end maybe. 60000 be good. We got uh, all the straw bales in. 366 total in the loft right now. So pretty good. Uh, yeah. but I'm going to call over and just make sure he's coming with. Oh, here he comes actually. Right here. I was going to say. There you go. They got a pretty cool setup. This guy goes around, does a bunch of farmers' fields for them. Standard contract kind of stuff. So we'll get this unloaded. And pulling away a bit early, buddy. I'm only down about 59, not sure what that's about. Oh man, I'm going to have to swing this out. There we go. So it's pulling off. Maybe that's what messed him up. I'm not sure why he's taking off already. But I'll give him a call on the radio. Figure out why he just left me a half a bin. Because I'm going to fill it by the time I get near the road again. Which is right here. Wait. Actually no, this is not the road. Sorry, this is just another back way. learning the map a little bit but yeah I'll uh, turn the camera back on when we uh, do some hauling as well I'm gonna drive down now we've got almost the headland uh, I think all the headlands are pretty much done there's a lot of deer back here be good hunting that's for sure uh, I'm gonna drive the first load of canola over so that I can take care of that while he goes in and starts breaking up the rows and getting it ready. So I should be able to just follow this road all the way out to the main road and cut over. Yeah, there it is. But yeah, pretty cool. Uh, probably should jump out of cab here. Try to remember where the flashers are. There you go. Probably technically should have this covered, but I think we'll be all right. Let's see if we can get it up to gear down here. Use the hill to roll. Uh, 
But yeah, pretty nice setup. I mean, I wish we had equipment like this, the 8R310, you know, this big crone trailer and all that, but it's a lot of money. It's going to take us a while to get up to that, and I mean, you know, we're probably going to need pretty good machinery to maintain all that we're trying to own and purchase and grow. So that'll be a good little challenge to even get that going. So I'm thinking this billion dollar challenge, it, it could be a while. Uh, I've already had somebody recommend to me too the greenhouses. I've done that on, you know, some of the Survive the Debts. You can make some good money off those. I did see the other day, I'm trying to think who had it. Uh, you know who it was? It was actually the formal pickle. He had ones with pumpkin in it. I thought that was kind of cool. Maybe find those or even set up. There's a modular greenhouse. Go in and set that up. Make sure nobody's coming. Good. Oh, does that shut off that beacon that I had? Yeah, so I got the hazards on the beacon shuts off. And pulling a little hard through here. Interesting. I think we technically can go a whole other driveway down. Because we're going to go in along the railway. If I remember correctly. Because the actual one, yeah, there's the bins. We want that small roofed one. So I should be able to make a turn right here. Yep. Straight down. Instead of doing all this looping around, that should be the straightest way in for us. Boy, you know, oh, I guess it'll fit. It can be a little snug. Did we get it in here? I mean, I think I'm in the right spot, right? That's grain cell point. I don't know if this interesting. This trailer is not dumping it. I mean, it's showing that it's dumping. But I noticed earlier when I opened up the screens, there's a weird animation. But yeah, it's dumping. It just didn't give me the sensor to do it. So at least we know it's working. I mean, I should put it over 40% on that contract, if not more now. Yeah, there we go. Well, yeah, see, it's a weird animation with this trailer. Should be able to drive right out through here. I'm going to actually take this back street all the way down. Try to avoid all the extra parking and traffic down there. I'll keep the hazards on while in town. Just because we're not going to maintain the speed that we're supposed to. By the time we get back, maybe he'll want to switch back into here. Doesn't seem to want to drive into town. So, I'll probably be hopping back into the X9 and taking it from there. Alright, so we're just finishing up this large field. Looks like he's got to come down one more time. Swing around. Try to run up against him. Probably should just wait till he's done, but... Get this filled out and we'll haul this to the cell point and while doing that they're going to move down the road. Got a smaller field, second one shouldn't take as long. Uh, the last one we have for today is pretty large. I mean not bad timing. You know, we got there one thirty. it's now 3.30 so it took about two hours to do this. Which is pretty good. I'll wait till he gets to the end and then I'll drive up and 
We can unload it. I will say the canola textures look pretty good when you have all that extra stuff thrown out instead of swathing it. Just throwing off that residue. That's what we want to call it, I guess. Or waste. I don't know if you'd call that either, but we'll get him unloaded. And not much left. So there we go. We'll uh, bat this down. And we'll uh, go empty this. And by the time we get back, I think they're already going to be down the road. So, moving right along. Not sure exactly when we'll get paid for this contract, but one would think at the end of it all, maybe. I don't think they're paying per job within job. I think we're just contracted for all three. So we'll pull out here. Try not to go in the ditch. Almost had an issue earlier with that. There we go. Flashers on. And we're good. So we'll, I'll go deliver this to the cell point and uh, go from there. Might make some money on some extra stuff that we sell back too. So I'll probably turn it on when we get to the cell point. So we'll dump out that remaining amount. See how that does for the contract. There, that's how it's supposed to work. It's supposed to be pushing it off, rolling bed like that. So that time after the third trip. So we got 8,000 out of that. Took a penalty. Not really sure why we took a penalty, but that's what we wanted to see. So well, now that we get that extra 8,000 off that crop sale, which we were told we could keep as a bonus, we'll uh, go meet up with the combine again. As you saw, oh, we got some deer coming out of the wheat field in front of us. Uh, over there, we got done in that little time lapse, the field of peas. We're working this large field 34 full of wheat. 
That is pretty much good. So we're up to, I mean, from selling the truck and from, we did get payment from those two other contracts, plus some of the leftover commissions on any of the extra grain or the peas. So we're up to 43,000. Oh, uh, something I was thinking about. If we get enough money, there are some fairly cheap properties in town. I was thinking about buying one and renting it out. Seems to be more people moving up this way. So I thought that'd be a... Maybe a easy money maker for us. Somewhat. Maybe not. Depending on what taxes are. Worst case scenario, we'll try it out. See how it goes. I noticed that when we're driving through town, so we'll probably go check out that house later. And see what they actually want for a price, but... You know, if we get ourselves another, eh, probably 30000 from this job, we'll, uh, probably have enough. I mean, some of those are pretty reasonable. Up here, it's more about land than it is the buildings on it. I noticed that with our farm, the land was definitely the pricey side of it. We gotta remember, we still going to be paying a lease on the land as well. So we got that, but we'll, uh, work through this field like I said pretty massive field and uh, yeah I mean you can see way over there on the right side of the screen that's where the end of it is is out past that barn way out there so it's it's quite a bit of wheat we're gonna pull off this field it's gonna probably take us into the evening I mean we've done pretty good on time for the most part getting those other two fields done but it's 430 in game right now and I would imagine this field's going to take well, probably at least 7.38, maybe later. I mean, this X9 rolls, but it's still. On the bright side, our grain trailer, hauler, doesn't go too far. Just down the road into the town, south part of the town, so won't be too bad. They should be able to get back here pretty quick and keep up with us. But yeah, we're going to work on that and I'll uh, hop back on after. Alright, so we're about halfway through thrashing through all this wheat. As you can see, uh, it's now 6.30 in game. Probably going to be closer to 9 by the time we get done. So... I think what we're going to do is we'll wrap this episode up and uh, yeah I talked to the realtor I guess too I should add that and yeah the rental home they're not going to be able to meet us there tonight and I don't think we'll get technically paid tonight right off anyway so next episode hopefully we'll be able to purchase that rental property and make some money on that. But uh, appreciate the support. A lot of feedback in the first episode. Don't be shy to comment down below on what you thought or didn't like about the episode. Again, appreciate all the support. Some of you are going out there sharing the content. Really appreciate that. Uh, again, the cow barn we have. Amazing job, Pleasant View Farms. Hopefully that will be making it to all platforms for you guys. I know there's just few things here and there that Giants wants tweaked but I mean overall to me it's pretty perfect it's a great barn with that said Farmer Taz out